with 720 silverness. That means 72%. You could tell there's cool boxes here, right? This one right here, I just kind of peeked and it's already open. This is why I like my stuff that people don't know. Ooh. These ones are really nice. Yeah, yeah. the bigger ones are in. All right stamp collection right i'm seeing already stuff in here right here i have to go back to the recycling center we got a lot of good stuff to go through still so that's where we're at with this storage it works anyway 950 out of 80 dollar storage unit just saying that's how you make money look at this amazing piece i think this piece here has the potential Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, pirates of all ages, I am uncertain if Baby J will put this in the beginning of this video and the unboxing will come after or if this is the end of the video and the unboxing was in the beginning. But we have an epic auction this Thursday and I'm gonna do a quick preview real quick so you guys can see every Thursday, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 Eastern on my channel, Storage Auction Pirate. We do an auction with the bestest stuff from our auctions and this is it right here. All right, we'll try to make this somewhat simple and efficient, but. This is everything from the unit where the gentleman passed away and the family didn't want it. And then I bought the two lawyers units. This is accumulation of all the good stuff. First up, not necessarily the first lot, but we have several amazing coins. We have a 1900 Morgan dollar. We have an 1898 Morgan dollar. We have a 1925 peace dollar. And we have three Ben Franklins from the 1950, 60 area and several of these Mexican centavoses with 720 silverness that means 72 percent carrying on the next amazing epic item we have here is 18 karat gold and jade cufflinks these things are antique and exquisite we also have this bircherer bircher watch this is probably a very fancy couple hundred dollar watch i'm uncertain of the, the it's amazing i believe this to be a, a buddhist monk J, uh, amber religious bead or something they would wear it in their hands i think and they go like that and that sends the good juju that way i don't know if that's the exact way it was used but i'm just throwing that out there we have this beautiful cloisonne made in china antique tray i'm gonna throw this also cloisonne style metal copper signed art bowl in with this one and then we'll have this one by itself this is a true relic right here probably a very pricey bowl if you know much about the cloisonne and stuff in the porcelain you see it there this bowl is very old and has some nice value to it and our last and final piece of our asian art and antiquities will be this piece i believe it's an incense burner with an autograph 1964 60s ish gi joe and steve austin million dollar man and their whole wardrobe guys is all their things we're going scuba diving we're going to space and we're doing lots of things we got lots of cufflinks and i mean lots by we have two lots this lot has a lot of them costume and non ferrous metals i think you call it which is uh like steel and stuff not gold silver aluminum copper nice stones and then you come over here we have a really nice set here of cufflinks that has sterling silver we have an owl a dolphin we have a don't understand the acorns. This is sterling silver and this tray here. So that will be one lot by itself. And oh, we do have one more Chinese bowl here. Look at that, signed, very old. You could tell and by this piece here and it's hand spun, very nice bowl. And we got all sorts of balls. You gotta have balls in this business, so why not? We got Jeff Bagwell maybe, I don't know. We have Pete Rose. My balls are signed. Roger Clemens. I don't know who that is, but it's probably a cool autograph, and we'll go through that more during the live auction. We got Ken Griffey Jr., and we got Willie Mays Hayes. That's going to be a good one right there. And then, who's got the biggest balls of them all? Not just the storage auction pyro, but the world champion 49ers, Joe Montana, Steve Young, Jerry Rice, and the whole entire football World Series team from 1987. I think this is going to be the Grand Slam showcase piece, or should I say Super Bowl? Should I say Super Bowl? Let's just tilt this up a little bit. And then we're going to come like this. If you see right there, the scales of justice, these things right here are exquisite. Two of them, I'm uncertain if I'll do one or two in the same lot. We also have a Rich Gannon football, Raiders. And um, I'm still uncertain. There are a lot of comments about who the Heisman Trophy winner was, but... I forgot off the top of my head. We have two really nice fly rods. We have an Orvis and a Fenwick. We'll do these probably in one lot. If you guys know much about fly fishing, that is some good stuff there. Let's carry on this way. We got one beautiful knife lot. We have a buck, a barlow, and a something. Uh, I'm uncertain of the name. Then we got this cool little random lot here that comes with vintage varnays. Very nice. A couple railroad locks. I don't know what this is. It says baboon on it. I've been called a baboon before. Zulu, okay. 
We got a beautiful watch from Nick and Knight. That's a lot. We got one stack of 60s TV guides. Comes with this stack. And then last but not least, the most important shout out to our silver servicemen is this beautiful military lot with the World War I Doughboy helmet. It's got the ZB marking number on it. And then we have these military pieces. This is sterling silver and 1 10th, 20th, 1 20th, 10 karat gold filled. You got the armbands. You got another piece here. You got this World War II medal and all of this stuff. And that's going to be the auction. Shout out to this man for serving our military as well because it's very important. All of our servicemen get thanks and appreciation because without them we wouldn't be here to watch or make these videos anyway let's let the camera roll onto the video baby j thanks for making this a good intro and i'll see you all thursday 4 p.m pacific standard time you want to say something no all right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls pirates it's i your captain speaking what's going on we are here in another exciting episode what's in number 66 66 is cool because half of that is 33 i like threes especially when they're in sequence but Woman called me, said the owner wants to, person died and the family wants to get out of the units. They don't to pay. If you want them, just pay the bill the rest of the month. There was three of them, 559. You saw two already. This is the last one. We got a sneak peek. We're gonna get oh, 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 oh. Yes. What did I like about this unit? Really, I didn't like nothing about it because I didn't buy it at an auction. I just got told what I told and we bought it. I kind of came in here the other day and I took a quick peek. There's a lot of stuff in here and after seeing the other two units, I'm really excited to start going in the ones that say fragile, collectible and stuff. What I'm gonna do, because we need hole filler for our previous units, I'm gonna go through and swoop things. Like I know I need that and that, but if the box looks crazy and it's taped and sealed and a lot of small stuff, we're gonna either save it for the end or for a whole nother video, but we're gonna go through this in a pretty orderly fashion. Let's see what we got here. This one says what? Kitchen misc fragile. So we're just gonna set this aside for now. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna get these bookshelves and I'm gonna get things like this. Hole filler for Uncle Mike. So first thing off, we got a beautiful empty plastic tote. Then we have I don't know, somebody opened up something here. Oh. Okay, I'm liking that. It's a pot. Do we have a pot of gold? Little known fact, pirate likes pots. Pots. And pots. Right off the bat, we're looking at two Alameda items. Those will get set aside. They won't come out of here today. So we got a bunch of these shelves, which are cool for flat stuff. And they are cool for making it spaced out in light. Hey, how you doing? That's a big load you got there. You all right? Oh, okay. I'm just teasing you. Hey, never a dull moment. Are you loading my printer ink? Are you loading printer ink? Because I didn't want to put it in there. That's why I was bringing this stuff. And we got a whole unit full of stuff next door, too. I want to take that home. Otherwise, it'll get damaged. The box will get messed up. I got a bunch of these shelves. I got, what else? This guy, every time you turn around, like a child. Oh, my camera's not on. So when we're at, we're at the flea market on Monday morning, we're gonna set this up and then everybody's gonna come get their, hand you their money here at the reception desk. We just need to get you a little office chair. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special visitor here. Hello, how you doing? Baby Jay, say hello to my special visitor. We've already, we're, we're way past that. We're way past that. Alex K, Alex was out here, guys. He hunt and hit the big garage sales today. Give him a little cameo if you guys don't already follow my friend here on Facebook. Right. Storage stalker, YouTube storage stalker. No, that's like Willie Matthews. Willie Mays. No, that's, there's A-M-A-T-H-E, Mathers. Marshall Mathers? Oh, what? My name is... Hi kids, do you like Primus? I hate it when they put that on there. Do you like Primus? Like, come on. Freedom of speech doesn't exist. So, basically what's going on here is I'm taking boxes of, you, you could tell there's cool boxes here, right? This one right here, I just kind of peeked and it's already open. This is why I like my stuff that people don't know. What are those? Ooh. That one I don't think is cool, but these ones, all of these right here, what do you think these are? These are art. Asian art, right? Yeah. Stamps in the corner. Wood block prints. Wood block like the, they? Yeah, every single one of them. Oh, that's nice. These aren't, these aren't uh, sipping ones either, you know? 
could be like Tenshoto, Hiroshima, Ooh. Hiroshi, Hiroshagi. Hiro that one's a print. No? I can't tell. Nico Art Gallery. This print, oh yes, that's what's nice. This print, Hiroshigi, was bought from Kobe, Japan in 1927 by Edward on when he was playing baseball with the UC team there. Edward, oh, oh wow, that's crazy, huh? Damn. Baseball player for UC Bears. Look at number seven. They probably have them all numbered one through ten. They're bigger, so they cut it down and we're not able to see. Look at what they did right here, though. It looks like someone tried to look at it, tried to get ready That's to open crazy. it, but didn't know. Whole box of these. These could be very valuable. Extremely valuable. Especially considering the size. So I'm gonna, what I'm, my goal is to film this video later. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look at these ones. These ones are really nice. Yeah, yeah. the bigger ones are in. All right. Nice. I'm going to go through these stuff later, guys. I'm just trying to get hole filler, and I don't want to jeopardize the fun. So if it looks like cool, nice, fragile, etc., just setting it aside. We'll come back and film this later. All right, I'm going to look in this one right now. Fragile green jade pot. Let's see if it is really jade. Come on, be some very valuable jade. Daddy needs some jade. That's not jade. jade it's just the color. This is like that one we got that time we went dumpster diving with our good friends. Remember, it's in your backyard. Spray painted? That's old though. That's Alameda all the way. All, all the way, all day. So you know what I'm talking about? Treasure Hustlers, Jeebus, first time we met him. still got that, that pot. I know, that's what I'm saying. It's got a green uh, spray paint mark on the side from our first excursion in dumpster diving. Wow, this is the most pirate thing I've found all day. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Careful, I'll stab you. Soccer. Killed by storage fire. You wouldn't get to put that video out, but I would. 1998 Space Production License by Minimum Production Incorporated. 1998 Trade Master. 1998 Space. It's a. It's uh. It's like Lost in Space. I think is what it's called. I guarantee that's like two, three hundred. Give me one fifty. Whoa! I thought you were cheering. Here, you want to put this somewhere safe? Hmm, just up there. Where have you been? Uh, your, this, mind, your mind is not how it used to be, sir. Well, uh, it's hard to be a storage buyer and a video maker, right? You, I know you, you struggle with the it? same thing. No. The stand, the remote. Hi, there might have been one in the other one, but once again, the family came and took the stuff they wanted and couldn't come back. So I'm just doing a rough... I need a little TV if you can A rough taking of stuff and then leaving stuff I feel like I need to film for another day. Trying to see how well this works for making better videos. So example, I don't know if this will, this will probably won't be a full video. This will be the start to one. But I'm thinking if I can do it this way, like I, it's, it's to me, I, I can almost tell you if the box is going to be good. I can shake it. Don't have to believe me. That's your choice. I'm just telling you me. Um, fact is, I think it's easier if I distract, extract the lower end stuff for the market and I come back another day and film all the boxes that I think are good. And then we get one good video, which will be shortly from this moment here. All right, here's the stitchation. So basically, this is gonna be good. I think it's gonna be fun. You could just tell, look guys. Stamp collection, right? I'm seeing already stuff in here. This is all the stuff I gotta film later that I thought was cool. I extracted the other stuff. I'm gonna start putting all the paper over here. That's what we gotta do now too. And then we're gonna get up on out of here for the day, cause show. All right, here's the stick. Last box in this unit that I need to open up for now. Empty printer and this looks like we'll oh, be careful michael this looks like possible toys okay so we're gonna set this aside ak lunar models be very careful with that michael um so everything here is done we're gonna start getting our paper i'm not sure if the last clip messed up but this is all the good stuff to film for later room for paper paper boxes and we're gonna wrap these two up because we got to get our load ready for monday we still got an eight by 40 we ain't touched and that will finalize most of the stuff I bought in the last week. It's a Saturday, we've already picked, we've already hit the neighborhood garage sales and we've, whew, you guys can see the stuff over here. This one's going in the other unit. That's why I'm gonna fill the four or five and get it in there. So this is kind of the idea right here. Didn't plan on filling it up, but you could see the trailer's leveled out well, but we need to squeeze this in so we have the room. Look at this, we're just going left to right. Boom, boom, boom. 
All right, guys, so this is all paper. Right here, I have to go back to the recycling center. We got a lot of good stuff to go through still, so that's where we're at with this storage. We're almost done with this last one. I'm gonna call it a day, probably. This is how my legs feel right here. See, watch, see how they're shaky? That, that's how they, they feel right now from the last couple days of work. We're just loading every little square in. There he goes again, guys. One more swipe. Oh, I gotta get what was on the ground. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Let me go lock this storage up over here because I know I'll forget that. This is where we're at. So, day's work. Unit number two, the dollar unit done. Unit number 10, swept empty. The front half, at least loaded up some. And I could already tell by my chains that they're not dragging as much as normal. But I'm going to go look over here from the side. That's what's important. Let's walk around. Hey. Dun, 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 dun. My trailer's so fine. Yeah, I think that leveled out some, but the weight is heavy right here. I went and washed it there that he's complaining, but I didn't want to squirrel it. The washer brush at the, the car wash leaves a, a little ring on it. So I just, yeah, I just sprayed it and then it's a working man's trailer. Last unit's over here done. I want to give a little quick little shout out to this right here. This is a typewriter. This is the Hermes, if you remember from the typewriter storage unit. Sold for $9.50, guys. Never underestimate stuff. I got laughed at and, uh, well, I shouldn't say laughed at. People are like, oh, oh look, at, look at him buying that. Because they expect me to always buy the expensive units. Take people out of the element and do what they least expect. It works. Anyway, $9.50 out of an $80 storage unit. Just saying. That's how you make money. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. Bob the Builder look likes of all ages. We are here at the flea market. Don't know if this will start a video, end a video, or it'll be in the middle of a video. That is entirely up to Baby J if he has time. What we got going on here now is the craziness of an $11 unit. Let me let me just show you guys. This is the office unit, right? Um, we're gonna call this office. Um, yeah, office space. Is that what it's called with the TV show? And we got desks, guys. I'm gonna try to get whatever I can. My goal. Ask 150, take one. Same, I mean, one dollar. Same thing right here. Desk, desk. We got a fridge. We got this fridge right here. This might be actually a decent item. This might actually be 50 bucks. Once again, I paid a rep 10 for this unit, but I might get 50 out of that. 25 a cabinet. Be lucky if I can get 100 for that. We're selling these for 20 a piece. Got a nice stroller. This is Uncle Michael's free stroller. And we got a little bit of this and that and potpourri. Tony, Uncle Michael on the ones and twos. Tony's re-looking through all the stuff I already looked through. He does a good job of that. Give him a thumbs up if you like how Tony rechecks my boxes, everybody. Lance. Hi. You want to say hi to uh, the world? Say hi to Baby J. Baby J, you put that in this video how he wouldn't say hi to you. He gave you a peace sign. Give me 15. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Bob the Builder here, lead foreman on the job. We got my second in command here. Second in command here. There's two second in commands. See, we don't do favoritism here in storage auction pirate. I don't know where the other guy is. Okay, I'm back. There he is. Back on the clock. Money, money, money. Only one captain. Bob the Builder, lead foreman. Back, <laughs> signing out here, reporting live from the Three Little Bears house. Here's where we are, guys. Got a lot of desks. <laughs> and a little bit of crap. Some stuff over here. Tony will probably take, I should take some of the ski things too. He has a car. He could take these. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, pirates of all ages. It is I, your captain speaking. We are here. We are in my garage. Imagine that. Anyway, I bought a unit uh, not too long ago. And I wanted to show you guys something cool. Because often when I go through stuff, I always am very fast paced. It's hard to do things in a proper manner. I'm a storage auction buyer before I'm a YouTuber, social media type person, Facebook, et cetera, et cetera. Most importantly is I have to do my job. So I'm always kind of in a rush, which slows things down on the video process. Actually, you miss things. Quite often you miss things. I just be like, oh, check this out. What I do is I always go home, I go to my storage, and I might reroute a box if I like it. I might do everything again at the flea market, or I'd set things aside. And here is an amazing piece, this piece right here, this one. Look at this amazing piece. I think this piece here has the potential, even though there's a little spider web down there and stuff, the liquid is still in here. It's usually red, but over time it fades, right? That, that's a red bubble. The mercury is still in there. It's missing the little top piece, but these are very expensive. This is uh, a 19, 1800s. 
piece. It's a barometer. This is the maker. I'm seeing these ranging all over the place. Let me turn the light off here. First dibs, etc., etc. And then I thought this was neat. A secret compartment. And it has this interesting piece. I'm not going to touch it. See, see it's wire tied in here. This is the mechanism for the clock. Even has some numbers here. This is pretty tight. It looks like a big old meth pipe or something. I don't know what the heck that thing is. Look at that. Mercury all up in there. Interesting, right? Anyway, that is pretty cool. I'm gonna try to get a minimum of a thousand bucks on this. It could be worth more. I'm seeing them on first dibs at like three grand, but remember first dibs always asks two, three times the price. So when you look something up, don't go on first dibs and be like, oh my God, I'm rich. That site, it costs like 2,000 a month to sell on or something like that, something ridiculous. And people are on there, they're fishing high, they're seeking the top customers, et cetera, et cetera. So don't use that one as a rule of thumb. Anyway, all right.